Okay, give me know. details. How did it happen? What happened? I want to know everything. Oh god, he uh... He, he did like a whole like scavenger puzzle piece thing with a lot of people involved and it ended at the pier and then I fell off the cliff and then I had... He proposed to me oh. while I was uh... Oh god. Is he gone gone? I think he's... It's okay, I'll get you wherever you need to go. My car's across the street. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so scavenger yeah. hunt and you fell down. Did he propose to you like while you were like... Yeah, I was laying. Well, I was conscious. I was just, you know, okay. laying there. Um, let me call him. Yeah. Actually, he has his car. I'll just, I'll just go to my house. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I do have a problem though. <laughs> yeah. And uh. I'm not sure who to talk to about it. So I don't know how to talk to him about it, but... Yeah. He is I know you're really good sometimes. with secrets. Yes. So, um... When... Please, you can't tell anyone. I will not tell anyone, I promise. This is a clown secret, which means I cannot share it with anyone. Unless it's incredibly funny. Which, it's not it funny, never is. this is serious. Exactly, yeah. Okay, well... Um, one part of the scavenger hut puzzle thing was to go to the mines, um, and there was two, there was two paths. Mm -hmm. One path was Chatterbox, the other path was CG, and there was a bunch of rules posted on the wall, saying like, okay, you know, just this isn't about leaving any gangs or whatever. This is about you know what you prioritize, blah blah. Whoa, that dude just went in the sewer. Yeah, in sewer things. Okay, that that's normal. No, nah, I know. It's just rare that you get to see that, like, up close and personal. Mm -hmm. Isn't this your house? Uh, Red Garage, yeah. Red Garage. Mm -hmm. And so, anyways, um, there's two paths, and uh, it, at the very bottom, there was a note that said, you can't go down both. Um, so, mm -hmm. I was thinking about it for a while, because I've, I've never felt like I really had to choose between the two. Like that before, and so. Nor should you. Um, I mean, I, I know it's complicated, but. Mhm. Mm uh, you know, I I can't help that, that where I was raised and where I'm going kind of thing, you know? Like. Yeah. I feel like I fit in really you well with the clowns, on both sides. and yeah, yeah, I can't help it. And Vinny also officially adopted me, so now it feels like a really real deal, you know? And mm -hmm. I just feel like CG is just in my blood. Yeah, part of it. But, yeah. Um. Anyway, so I. I first went down the chatterbox path and that's what started the whole scavenger hunt thing and everything but then as I was leaving the mines I decided you know to break the rules and go down the path mm -hmm. uh, just to see what was down there and there was a knife and a piece of paper the paper say oh let me read you what the paper said he better have left it in here <gasps> he took it Oh no. Wait, maybe it's. Maybe it's a different. Do you have another book on you that he you might put it in? He took it. And he took the knife. Oh, wait, I still have the knife. Hmm. Anyways. He has huh. the book, but. The paper said. Something along the lines of. You pretty much, you have to kill me before I kill you, kind of thing. Which is... Kind of alarming. He said that CG and the clowns will never be... Never get along. Which I felt like was not the case. I feel like CG has been Weren't respectful. Were you all selling drugs for them? Yeah, they've for been like helping the and stuff. Month. And he yeah. says it's all just temporary. And mm. I just, um... It just sucked to read. I'm not gonna lie. It sucked that... Yeah. Why can't I just have both, way. you know? But anyways, well, I feel like this is a foreshadowing the future because I did a tarot card reading with Winsong and pretty much she said that Chatty and I are twin flames, which is like good and all, but we're going to have a lot of complications and it's just like Winsong and or Winsong and Happy, how they come together and leave, come together and leave, break up, get together, break up, get together. That's pretty much how it's going to be like with Chatty and I. Uh, but I feel yeah. like... <sighs> 
I feel like I don't know how to solve this situation. I don't know what to do. And now we're engaged and like, I love him and all, but... I, I hate that it feels like if I went down that path... It it's like... Just led to death. Which I feel like is so unfair. Isn't that unfair? Yeah, I mean, it's a it crazy is unfair. thing to say. Like you kill me before I, I kill you, kind of thing. Just because I I might have prioritized CG. So, you um, do you want to hear something that like kind of might relate, it, it, like help you to kind of see a different point of view? Yeah. So, like eight years ago, I got married. Uh, to uh, his name doesn't matter, and while I was with him. I met, well, I started to hang out with Kenneth Jesperson, um, Mr. Smiley. And I realized, and he realized that we were starting to have feelings for each other, which neither of us expected because he's a sociopathic serial killer and, and I'm an over empathy person. And the husband absolutely hated everything about that. Now, I know it's not the same as choosing between family but I had to make a major choice in that and decide whether I want to stay with my husband or go with like... my new love. But the thing was, is that when I took the step back, I had to spend some time and understand where am I happiest? And that's the part that made my decision where I'm happiest. Because I cried so many tears over the husband and I don't cry as much over Ken. So I knew that the better choice would be Ken because he doesn't make me cry, you know, not like that. He'll always be there for me. He'll always be the one who will be there for me no matter what. So yeah, maybe figuring out who will really be there for you. And if it's both sides, have it all. That's the thing. I think it is both sides. Yeah. Um, I just also feel like... It shouldn't have been like an ultimatum. It shouldn't be, no. And both sides make me happy. I have good times with both sides. All the time. Like, I've learned so much with CG. I, I, they're so funny. Honestly, I just feel like it's... They're clowns. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they're True. deep down, they're all clowns. I'm not gonna lie. They really are. They really are. They don't see their clown side. It's kind of like Ripley. Ripley didn't really see his clown side until recently. And then he stopped being a cop and became Professor Bubbles 24 7. But I guess the thing is, you're gonna have to think about is that you have to have someone that will love you for who you are, no matter who you are. And that's the most important thing. Like, no matter if you're with CG, no matter. He wasn't what, making whatever. her choose, but if like I was, I'm polyamorous. If I've Raymond went down that path, he times. said that I have. To, I'll kill. And oh I could be God. with. I could be sorry. with the husband. Yeah, at the okay. house. Hi, sorry. It's okay. Grove Street. Yeah, girl. At the Max House. Yes. Okay. Like, I could what? be with the husband or. I could follow my heart and know what my heart wanted more than anything. That's the thing is like, you have to know where your heart leads you. And more importantly, you have to know somebody who truly, and I hate saying this, somebody who truly loves you will do what they think is best for you. But somebody who truly loves you and respects you 100% will not only do that, but they will also allow you to make your own decisions. I wasn't respected by my husband. He wouldn't let me make my own decisions. Well, he didn't. Maybe. He's like not making me choose. Like I No, I know. I but, chose yeah. the path. I chose willingly. Can you plug your ears for a second? Okay. Okay. We could just go inside the house where he can't hear us. No, he can't. He'll plug his ears. Plug your ears. Ah! Okay. So he didn't make me choose. Mm -hmm. He didn't make me choose, but like, when I went down the Changing path, like that note said, you better kill me before I kill you kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's no, like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. 
I got to pick the path, but it's kind of crazy that the other path said that. Well, the other side comes with a lot of um, dangers and perils. And I know I straddled that line too. I'm, you know, I spent a lot of time with CG because, you know, I work with K again. And I'm a, you know, I'm a clown. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, let me, let me go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. Okay, we're done talking. Oh. Okay. 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 Um. Well, I'll let you two love her. Hey, you know. so hey, Chatty. Uh, congratulations on your Thanks. pending nuptials. What I look forward to uh, your the wedding. Heck, was that word? Oh, yeah, I'm getting married. Nuptials. What's a nup? Uh, yeah. Nuptial is another word for like. Wedding ceremony. Why don't you just say wedding so everybody can understand what you're saying? Yeah, it's because I'm a fancy bitch and I like to use 50 cent words, so to speak. A rapper? That's not. That's that doesn't sound real... very expensive. I like to use big words because I'm highly educated in English and literature. And I've spent hours and hours learning these stupid words that only. What the yuck I get you, you litter? You. <laughs> Excuse you? What? No, I didn't mean to call you uneducated or anything. I was saying that, like, I have a literature degree, meaning that, like, my so you're, so oh, you're she's flexing. So you're better than us. Oh, Carmela said she likes the litter earlier today. Ursula, okay, you're smarter than us. Okay, you know, rub we it get in. it. We get it. We get it. You're a genius. God. She's mad at us. <laughs>